Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morningship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. My dear student, today is our lecture number 14 and there is no SW today. So our today's topic is exercise 3 which is in page number 20. From exercise 3, we shall solve question number 12 and 13 as your CW. So, I hope you have this book. Okay, open page number 20. From page number 20, we shall solve question number 12 and 13. I have already written both of the question on the board. Okay, so we solve question number 12 first. In order to solving this math, at first we read the question. Please notice. Divided, uh, sorry, dividend is... 8903 the divisor is 87 and the remainder is 29 what is the quotient dear student notice dividend is given divisor is given and remainder is also given we need to find out the quotient by using this dividend divisor and remainder my dear student we have already learned the formula of dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder. But today we need the formula of quotient. What is the formula of quotient? The formula of quotient is dividend minus remainder. Dividend minus remainder divided by divisor and we get quotient. So first of all, in order to solving that, we write given that, given that dividend equal to 8903 divisor is 87 and remainder is remainder equal to 29 we need to find out the formula uh, find out the value of quotient so first of all we write give uh, we know that quotient equal to dividend minus remainder divided by divisor okay now we put the value here dividend is 8903 okay minus remainder is 29 okay divided by here divisor is 87 so i write this now at first we do subtraction okay 9 to 13 it will be 4 carrying 1 that one is added with this 2 it is 3 3 to 10 we need 7 carrying 1 that one is added with this section and it will be 1 and 1 to 9 it need 8 and 8 is placed there so if we subtract 29 from 8903 we get 8874 divided by that 87 now dear student we do division and you must write here 87 divided by 8874 so my dear student notice In 88, 87 goes in 1 times. That means 8, 7, 0, 8, 7. Now we subtract and we get 1. And 1 digit 7 is placed here. In 17, 87 goes in 0 times. That means 0. Subtract and we get 174. In 174, 87 goes in 2 times. That means 7, 2, 0, 14 carrying 1 8 to 16 plus 1 17 okay now we subtract and we get 0 so dear student if we divide 8800 by 74 by 87 we get 102 so this 102 will be the quotient i hope you have understood and this is the answer answer quotient equal to 102 
I hope you have understood. This is so easy math. Okay. If you practice it and it is easier for you. Okay. Next we shall solve question number 13. In order to solving question number 13, we erase question number 12. Hmm. First we read the question. 13. A factory can produce 2520 cycle in 7 days. How many cycles can it produce in 3 weeks? Okay, my dear student. A factory can produce 2520 cycles in 7 days. How many cycles can it produce in 3 weeks? Dear notice, student notice. Here, 7 days and here, 3 weeks both are different we need to convert the same unit so we convert this seven days into week we know that seven days equal to one week that's why we can write in one week a factory can produce 2520 2, cycles so in three weeks a factory can produce we multiply 2520 by three and we get the required amount of answer so write question number 13. First of all, right, we know that, know that 7 days equal to 1 week. Okay. So, now write in 1 week, a factory can produce 2000 520 cycles now therefore in three weeks a factory can produce 2520 by three cycles so two zeros are zero 2 3s are 6, 3 5s are 15 carrying 1, 3 2s are 6, 1, 7. So, I repeat 3 zeros are 0, 3 2s are 6, 3 5s are 15. From 15 I write here 5 carrying 1, 3 2s are 6 plus 1, 7. So, 7560 cycles produced in 3 weeks. So, this is the answer. I hope you have understood. My dear student, this is our today's lecture and there is no SW today. You must practice this at home. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.